So Kyle killed someone he never met for no reason. Is that what we're supposed to believe? Well, isn't that what you said zombies do? It is with a sad heart I say that that man is no zombie. Oh, even though he rose from the dead? It's common knowledge when you turn into a zombie, you cannot turn back. So you concede to the fact that there's a medical explanation to all of this? I concede to nothing, except that Kyle is not telling us the whole story. You think he remembers? When a life-altering moment occurs, people remember. Well, maybe it's too big to deal with. Maybe he can't face it just yet. Do you think he ever will be? Hopefully, if he feels safe. Perlmutter, what are you doing here? I came to tend to one of my patients, Kyle Jennings. Uh, do you think that's such a good idea? I'll have you know, I'm perfectly capable of treating living patients. I simply prefer not to. I made an exception here because the results of his blood work are quite unusual. What do you mean? Kyle Jennings had scopalamine in his system, which in small doses is used to treat motion sickness. In larger doses, it acts on the central nervous system to promote compliant and suggestible behavior. Exactly how suggestible? You'll basically do whatever you're told. It's like a date rape drug, only the victim remains conscious. And when the drug wears off, I have no recollection of what happened. Is it possible somebody slipped Kyle that drug? I think it's highly probable that they did. What time do you think he was given the scopolamine? Between 2.45 and 3.45 the night of the murder. That's when he was on that zombie walk. Someone on the zombie walk drugged Kyle and sent him after David. Kyle's innocent.